It all began in the spring of 1952. Toronto was home to many German-speaking immigrants who longed for a place to worship in their own language. Under the leadership of Mr. Cronert, they met faithfully, slowly building what would one day become Warrenful Gospel Assembly. In 1953, Reverend Green, pastor of the Hamilton Church, agreed to hold regular meetings with the 25 or so that met in an old wood frame building owned by the Stone Church. By 1954, this small group made a decision that would shape their future. Under the leadership of Reverend Edmund Bhatia, they officially became a congregation, affiliated with the German branch of the Pentecostal Assemblies of Canada. At that first business meeting, there were only 12 members, but their hearts were full of hope. As they grew, they moved to a larger space in the old Evangel Temple. In 1956, the congregation purchased their very first building at 804 Broadview Avenue, now under the name Tristus Kirche. In 1954, we, along with 10 others, became the founding members of the Christus Kirche. I was involved in the choir and ladies' missions group. Warren has been our church home ever since. The church family was growing 45 members strong, and so were their ministries. Under the leadership of Reverend and Mrs. Hype, the church expanded its outreach, including a German radio broadcast that would go on for years. The youth and children's ministries began to flourish thanks to the support of leaders like Brother Knut Kolmar. But in the 1980s, the congregation faced a major decision. With their growing numbers, should they expand their current space or take a leap of faith and relocate? They chose to trust God leading. In 1982, they opened the doors to a new church home on a land provided for by Brother Walter Kimmerly at 2210 Warden Avenue. My earliest childhood memories include Sunday school taught in German at Christuskirche, which then grew into Warden for Gospel Assembly. I met my wife Diane here at Warden, and each of our three kids has enjoyed the heritage and the legacy of growing up in a full gospel church surrounded by a community of loving and kind believers who have shown by example how to live a godly life. The building would now be known as Warden Full Gospel Assembly. This new location opened the door to incredible growth. The church became a vibrant, multi-ethnic community where people from all walks of life found a place to belong. Wardenful Gospel Assembly continued to thrive. Ministries grew, many youth were baptized, and lives were transformed. We are deeply thankful for the dedicated leadership of pastors, each pastor playing a vital role in shaping our church community. I was born and raised at Warden. It's, just, it's not just my church, but a part of the Christian legacy my parents modeled for me, showing me what it means to serve Christ and His church through both vibrant growth and challenging times. I'm now 64 years old and can look back with satisfaction and say that my early decision to follow Jesus in the company of his saints here at Warden has been the foundation for an abundant and rewarding life. We've been through many seasons, but through it all, one thing has remained, God's faithfulness. As we continue to move forward, we trust in that faithfulness for the future. Welcome to Warden Full Gospel Assembly.